just before the video starts here, I just want to say thank you to the people that have subbed, liked, commented, dropped in and watched it, to uh, shared it, etc, etc. I am trying to respond to all the comments, and I am trying to help as many people as possible. But keep in mind, there's only so much I can do with my limited amount of knowledge of what your system is doing, what you're running on your system, or anything you're doing personally. Um, I'm also limited by my own hardware being an older third gen and a 1063 gig. There's only so much I can show you without giving examples all the time. But just know that I am trying and I do appreciate the support. So boys, this is a follow-up of the Escape from Tarkov Stoda and Freezing. Um, this one is more based on frame times and stabilizing your frame times. Basically, uh, you're using uh, MSI Afterburner's River Tuna Statistics in order to frame rate limit your game at a minimum or your average FPS. That way, it's a constant frame rate. It's not going to wave around and constantly change, which is what causes the weird feeling when you move your mouse. You move your mouse to the left, your frame rate dips, and it feels like the game's sluggish, right? But if you lock your frame rate at, the, at your lowest frames that you get, or your average frames, then that happens less, and the game overall feels smoother. Um, obviously, first things first, you need MSI Afterburner, okay? So you'll open up your browser. You're going to type in MSI after, uh, after burner. Nailed it. Obviously, you go here, you'll click the link, you'll hit download. It's going to download it. You'll open the zip file. You're going to hit open. It's going to open it. You're going to hit yes. The screen comes back. You're going to hit yes. You're going to hit OK. You're going to hit next. You're going to hit accept. You're going to hit uh, make sure this is selected. You need River Tuna Statistics Service. Make sure that is selected, okay? Then you hit next. Obviously, you set the path. Hit next again, and you hit install. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with this, okay? Now, you can ignore all of these, okay? All these little bars you see, you can ignore them if you want. That's entirely up to you. The other video briefly explained the MSI Afterburner overclocking thing, but this is about river tuner. So what you're gonna to want to do is you want to get settings cog where whichever skin you're using, open up the settings menu. Okay, once you're in the settings menu, you're going to want to go to user interface. Okay, in user interface, you want to make sure single tree icon mode is not selected. Okay, all the way because if it's not if it's selected, you won't see this down here. So make sure it's not selected. Then you want to go to on-screen display. You want to toggle on-screen display. You want to use a button. I personally use insert. You can choose whatever button you want. And you're also going to want to have toggle frame rate limiter. Okay. Important. Make sure you have a button bound to that. I use end. That's just easy for me. Once you've done that, then you can go to the monitoring tab. Okay. Now in the monitoring tab, um, we are going to be focusing on FPS, frames per second, and we're going to be focusing on frame time, okay? Um, if you want your GPU usage or CPU usage or RAM usage or core clock speeds or temperatures, the same applies for them. What I'm going to show you for the frame rate and the frame time, you just have to go through the list and enable them one by one and then set grouping zones so they're all together. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see frame rate, frame time. Click the little tick mark next to frame rate. Click the tick mark next to frame time. Make sure it has show in on screen display. It should update here as in OSD. Then you want to make sure it is set to text only on the frame rate. Set the override graph to FPS or whatever you want to set it to. Then go to frame time again, showing on screen display, text and graph, override name, type frame time if you want. Just make sure this one is set to text and graph. Okay, make sure this one is set to both. Otherwise, you won't get the line to show you how smooth the gameplay is. Okay, now that you've done that, right, 
you can then hit apply then you can hit okay and then that's that you can lowercase do not close msi afterburner if you close it this won't work okay you need this open okay but now that you've finished with msi afterburner you can now open msi uh, you can now open river tuna statistics server okay once you've done that it's going to look like this okay you want to go to add you want to go to the destination of tarkov for me it is the c drive battlestate games eft folder escape from tarkov.exe you then want to hit open and once you hit open you'll have it pop up in here okay you click on it and here's your frame rate limit now for the frame rate limit okay i'm going to show you in game how to actually figure your frame rate limit out so let me hop in game first and we will figure that out okay i'm back in game in tarkov okay as you can see from the graph it is all over the place this patch is absolutely horrendous for frame times anyway as you can see i'm at 58 58 frames 55 drop into 49 back to 55 it stutters because the scavs are spawning in but you know moving around it it's not exactly a straight line on the graph, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, and let's see if I can make that... Hey, yo. Let's see if I can make that graph way easier for you guys to see. Are you adjusting this setting? There we go. Since we're not playing for the gameplay here. Okay, so... Now that you can physically see the graph... The line represents stuttering. Okay, is the easiest way to put it. The 16.5, 17 point something, 18 ms, the milliseconds, that is your latency. Think of it as your latency, okay, from mouse to screen. That is your latency, okay? That's why whenever you shake your screen with the mouse, you get spikes like that and it feels weird, it feels sluggish, it feel, you can feel the lag, right? Now, if I hit my limit button, just watch how smooth the graph gets. You'll notice the FPS isn't spiking, the FPS isn't being erratic, and it's an extremely straight line. Yes, it is 20 milliseconds. Yes, it is capped at 50. But if you're, let's say, on a computer that has, I don't know, a lowest of, of 70 FPS and a highest of 90, or a lowest of 80 and a highest of 100, okay? 80 FPS on this game, that's nothing to complain about. 80 FPS on Tarkov's huge. Hell, even 60 FPS on Tarkov's huge. Again, you are going to get spikes like you've just witnessed right there. You are going to get them. I'm going to get them a lot more. I'm on an older hardware, but you are going to get them. Now, if I move around, it's not as erratic. There is still spikes, but it's not as erratic. I'm moving around, I'm shaking. It doesn't stutter like crazy. I'm aiming. I'm going to shoot and it is going to spike for the very first time. But look how minor that spike is compared to what it usually is. Okay. And again. And again. And again. Okay. Now if I put it on full auto. You'll notice how it is spiking right there. Okay. The reason it's spiking for me is because if you look at the very top of the screen, 1060, I'm at 2922 video memory. My VRAM is capped. And that is why I am personally getting frame rate lagging when I ADS at walls because it renders things in. In order to uh, alleviate that problem, I could lower my resolution or I could do something else. But personally, it doesn't bother me. But for you or anyone else who has... You know, 1660s or RTX 2070s or anything like that. Those cards usually have 8 gigabytes of VRAM or, or, you know, substantially higher than mine. You guys won't have a problem. Not to mention I'm still recording as well on OBS. So it's not Shadowplay going to have an impact on my GPU. Um, but that graph, completely fine. Completely mint. Open up the inventory. It's going to stutter. That's just Tarkov. That's just how it is, okay? There's no fixing that. Open doors, run in, again. Oh, bobble. 
minor graph spikes but keep in mind i'm gonna turn it off okay and you watch what happens very unsmooth very look look at the graph move around look at my frames drop look at the milliseconds response time spike okay Let's reload just look out you can even see it's unsmooth when i'm trying to aim massive spiking okay i'm gonna turn it back on again it's now back on it's locked in at, at my frame rate of my desires which i'll tell you how to do in a moment it will spike as usual because it's dark off occasionally but again let's run around it doesn't feel like i'm lagging it doesn't uh, doesn't look like i'm lagging again it's gonna have spikes occasionally that's just talk of there's nothing you can do about it but it is nowhere near as bad as what it was now how you might be asking me how exactly do you do this All right now how you determine what to lock your frame rate at you open the game and you just play the game normally with an uncapped fps okay mine is now uncapped as you can see by the squiggly lines on the graph you'll notice i'm going from 51 52 frames 53 frames 50 white you know etc usually without recording on without obs open and all that bullshit i would usually average around 55 to 60 fps which is why i locked it at 50 okay if you're getting example hello scav hey you can figure out your frame rate okay is let's say you're getting 90 fps okay but it dips down to about 75 or 80 right and then it'll shoot back up to 95 or 100 then it'll drop back down to 75 or 80 you want to take your lowest number or your average number of fps just from running around the map just keep an eye on your frame rate tech the most consistent number you see, either in the middle or your lowest. Okay, you'll go to River, River Tuner, as shown on the program. Okay, right here. And you'll, t you'll select Tarkov, and in this box, you will type in that number. So let's say you're at 90 FPS, and you average or your lowest frame rate is 85. Okay, or 80. Let's, let's say your lowest FPS is 80. Okay, you'll type 80. Okay, once you've typed 80, the button you used and bound to the frame lock key, when you're in game, you'll hit the button, it's going to lock the frame rate, it's not going to do it for me because obviously I'm not going to get 80 FPS, but you'll lock the frame rate and it will stay there forever, okay, and it'll look just like mine when mine is locked, which will be like that, see, once you've locked it, it'll be a nice smooth graph, nice and stable, that will eliminate majority of the inconsistent feeling of the game, if you will. And it will help with some stutters, and it will also help with um, laptops that use mobile stuff and overheat. Because too high a frame rate causes them to overheat, which then causes them to downclock, which then causes the bad performance, right? So, let's say I'm on a laptop right now, okay? You're not meant to get more than 50, 40, maybe 30 FPS on a laptop anyway. So let's say, let's say I'll lock it at 30 FPS. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest, okay? No one wants to play any shooter game at 30 FPS. Not in 2023, coming soon, okay? It's just bad. It feels weird. But let's just say for the video's sake, okay? That you want to lock it at 30 FPS. Fucking mouse is tangled. Okay? So you lock it at 30 and you can obviously move around and it's not going to stutter and even even with my hardware it's not going to stutter open the inventory it's still going to stutter at 30 okay because that's just how tarkov is but the point here is nice smooth frame times nice smooth graph uncap the fps and it's back to what it goes to squiggly lines inconsistencies you don't want that so again Find your either average FPS or lowest FPS. Type it in here. Mine's 50. Go back into Tarkov. Hit your lock key. And you're good to go. Happy days. You enjoy Tarkov. Nice smooth experience. Nothing overloads. Nothing lags. Nothing's crazy. And you can enjoy a nice smooth consistent feeling in Tarkov.
before I end this video, okay? Just a just a just a, a heads up. This video is not okay, and I I, I I have to fucking I have to say this. This video is not how to increase your FPS. This video is not how to improve your FPS. This video is absolutely fuck all to do with FPS. You got owned. And again, my game didn't freeze mid-fight. It did sk uh, skip and stutter because of the VRAM. But apart from that, didn't stutter. Uh, didn't freeze up and lock up or crash. Continuing, but it's it's not to gain FPS. It's got fuck all to do with FPS. It's got absolutely nothing to do with FPS. Okay, it's to do with frame timing. Which and your frame timing is the input latency of your devices and your monitor. Okay. Which is why things feel sluggish and delayed and weird and why sometimes it feels like your mouse is moving faster when it's not and then sometimes it's not and it feels smoother and not smoother. That's your frame times being inconsistent. Now if you lock it to your average or your lowest, you'll feel the game to be smoother and more consistent. But... If you're getting 30 FPS, then this probably isn't going to help you. If you're getting <laughs> 60 or higher, then this video might help you. And you can give it a try. Um, that's pretty much it. If there's anything that you didn't understand or something that I missed. Or maybe someone that's more intelligent than me that can explain frame times versus frames per second more than welcome put it in the comments i'll try and answer the comments i'm trying my hardest with the other one and that's you know that's pretty much all i've got that's it that's river tuna that's statistics that's frame locks and that's how you get a nice consistent smooth experience in tarkov when you're not vram limited like me haha <laughs> anyway i'll catch you around boys have a good one